Some of you may be experiencing the opposite. I know that I was. There used to be a time that I was um, living seriously in a world of lack. Like literally, I was a pers uh, an actor in New York for many, many years. I was the, uh, the identity that I had taken on was the actor's actor, the true artist. I don't even want to do a commercial. You want me to do a commercial? I won't do that commercial. It pays $50,000. I don't care. I live in a squalor. You know, that's, that's what the guy I was living out. You give me this, I'll take the movie where I like go insane and they write about me going insane. That's the stupid story I was living out, right? But I was really living it out. And at one point, uh, I did believe, of course, that by living this story out, I would get everything that I ever wanted. Not only would I get to be this great artist, celebrated artist, right? I would get all the women. And in fact, all I would have to do is stand here. I could stand here and talk to Tyler over here. I could stand here like this, and they, they'd all be coming over. I'd be like, mm. you know, like they would all be coming to me. I wouldn't even have to go through this fear of rejection because I would have gone this other way and achieved that. Now, maybe none of you guys or some of you guys are actors or artists, but everyone here, I'm sure, thinks that in some version, if I go and do this, I build this business, if I become super wealthy, if I get that, then the women will come. Then I'll be me. So that was the, the point. There was this far off place where then I'll be me. So for me, it was I would become a successful actor. But not only would I get all the women, I would also suddenly become an amazing physical health. You know, <laughs> at that point, I was just eating like shit and uh, overweight and drinking and smoking. But now that I'm famous, I have a six pack and I'm glowing. So it would always be uh, in this future time. Or then I'd be a good person. I'd, I'd start a charity and help uh, little animals eat uh, organic puppy food or whatever, right? So the, it's, then I would do that. And then I would be attractive. The reality is, is now we have to start. And the day that I took that upon me, now I have to start being this guy from here, from here. I have to start being this guy with these negative thoughts. And when the day I took that on is the day that my life began to go on an amazing journey. Up until then, I was living in a world of lack, literally so bad that I would, be, uh, I would see beautiful women walking by and in New York City, even more than LA, you see them all the time because you're always outside, you're in it, you know, uh, and it's compact. Beautiful woman walking by, walking by, walking by, and I would just go like this. There's another fucking thing I can't have. That's where I was at. There's another thing I won't get. I would stare. I would watch people eat in restaurants, and I would look in there with one of my shoes with a hole in it, and I'd be look, looking at it and say, and just be like, oh man, it just seems so far away, you know? It seems so far away. Now I don't even, you know, now I don't even care of it. But then that's, that's just living in a world of lack, you know? And I was, maybe I was uh, reveling in it, I don't know, but it certainly didn't feel good. Um, and then there was this far off dream that I'll become this guy when set, said event happens that was out of my control. Does that make sense? So the point that I'm saying is, is A, I was living out a storyline storyline of this starving artist, but at the end of it, I would win something amazing. And I imagine everyone in here is living out a storyline, and at the end of it, you win something amazing. It all comes through in the end. 